Praise God, praise God. What another beautiful day it is that the Lord has made. And this we know, all oh, that he made this day. I mean, even before the foundation of the world, he did it. And that's the reason why it is behoove all of us to rejoice and be glad because this is the day that the Lord has made. It is so good. Praise God. Hallelujah. That I'm here again. Praise God coming into wherever you are here in this broadcast. And I hope and pray that the word of God that you would hear today would be a blessing and an inspiration and an uplifting for you. Hallelujah. It is so good, I tell you, just to be able to get into the word of God and let people know that this is what we need today is the word of God. You know, it is, it, I mean, so much is happening. Oh, and I don't want to get off into that, but so much is happening. And I mean, the laws being made for this and being made for that. And it just, it, you know what, we're living in perilous time, as the Bible tells us, and we really need the Lord. We need Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. That's the reason why I'm always preaching to you, whosoever listening, and I hope everybody is, praise God, that we need Jesus Christ because of what he done for us at Calvary. He done all for us. And if you don't know Jesus Christ today, I'm, listen, as, listen, as I go into the word of God, as I began to preach to you God's word today, I pray that you will be drawn, oh, yes, by the spirit to God. Hallelujah. Because you need him. We all need him, but many are not saved. And that's the reason so much trouble is going on. Even some that is saved. Hallelujah. Listen, that's the reason because we need Jesus Christ, hallelujah, in our lives. That's the only way we're going to be able to make it. We're going to be able to overcome, to be conquerors, as he tells us in his word. We need Jesus Christ. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that I know him. Praise God for myself. I'm so thankful that I can be able to tell others about him because there is none greater than in Jesus Christ in your life. Praise God, because you may feel that you don't need him now, but you will need him. But I'm behooving you right now. You need him right this minute. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'll tell you, it, it's a wonderful thing to know him. Oh, hallelujah, to have him in your life. Oh, and to be led of the Holy Spirit. That's the thing about it, to be led of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Let us have a word of prayer. And I get right into the word of God. And then I will tell you about what a great time we had in Shreveport, Louisiana, with the camp meeting, 2016 camp meeting. But let us have a word of prayer right now. Praise God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as I stand here, Father God, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, that the Holy Spirit will open up to me that which you would have me to give to your peoples today. Father, there's ever been a time that we need you. We need you right now. And I pray that the whole world, Father God, will wake up and know that it's nothing they can do without you. Hallelujah. And I thank you, Father, right now for this opportunity, Lord, to tell the people, Father, what thus said the Lord, because, Father, we need you, whether they know it or not. We need you. I know we need you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We'll never be able, Father God, to make it if we don't turn to you. But I'm asking you right now, Father God, those that are listening, I ask your blessing upon them that they will come into the knowledge of your word. They will be drawn closer to thee in the name of Jesus. And many that are not saved, Father God, we hear the word to today and be saved, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because, Father, there are, there's time now that we are living in this time. Father, I tell you, it's not pretty, but I know, Father God, you are still in control because you sit on the throne. But I know, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will, Father God, bring us through those that are crying out to you, those that are verbally praying and believing and trusting. Father, I know that you will. Father God, protect us, bring us through. Oh, hallelujah. Well, we will be able to cry out in the name of Jesus, Father, that we know that our Redeemer live. Oh, hallelujah. And I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray the Holy Spirit will speak through me that I may be able, Father God, to bring a message that will encourage many right now in Jesus' holy and righteous name. Amen. And thank God.
you know, we went to um, Shreveport, Louisiana on the 6th, on the, well, we, I went down on the 15th, but on the 16th, we had the, uh, the camp meeting, 2016 uh, camp meeting in Shreveport, Louisiana, which is my hometown. And I'll tell you, God, was, I mean, listen, it was such a blessing. Oh, I tell you, so much happened good that God, I mean, he was right in the myth of us. Praise God. It was wonderful. Praise God. You know, and I hold the camp meeting in Shreveport, Louisiana every year. So you make your plan to be with us next year because it be wonderful. I mean, it is wonderful. We hold it at the Prince of Peace Baptist Church down there in Moortown in Freeport, Louisiana. But it, and I mean, people's come from everywhere, you all. It was just, oh, I tell you, God is really doing a work. Hallelujah. And I thank God for that. You know, because when you give your life and you get, when you give your heart and life to him, listen, he will bless you tremendously. Yes, he will. I know what I'm talking about. He will bless you. And I'm asking you right now that uh, make your plan to be with us. I will be giving more detail about next year. Praise God. And you may just want to go with us. Hallelujah. But let's get right into the word right now. And I, I have a message that the Lord has laid upon me because of all of the, all of the, oh, I tell you, I don't know what to call it, but it's just so much are going on in the world. I mean, people just seem like they taking matters into their own hand and wish they shouldn't because, you know, uh, killing is not the problem. It, it's not the answer. It's not the answer. It's the problem, all right, but it's not the answer to get things done. What, like I, I said at the beginning, what we need is Jesus Christ, and many don't have Jesus Christ in their lives, and we need that. And, and I want you to tell others about, listen, that this is what they need is Jesus. They don't need nothing else. When, once you get Jesus into your life, you can live a, listen, a spiritual and holy and righteous life. Yes, you can. You know, people may not they want to have nothing to do with you. They may not like you. They may talk about you. That doesn't matter about that. You just need Jesus in your life. Praise God, because that's the only answer that we have. That's the only answer that we have. I want you to know that. So if you have your Bible, turn with me to the book of First Peter, uh, that the first chapter in the book of First Peter, and I'm going to read into you here it only two scriptures, and I will talk from those two scriptures that the Lord has laid it upon my heart to let people know what's really going on. And like, and I'm going to have to say this again, we need Jesus. Hallelujah. He died on Calvary for you and all that he did, all the benefit, all that he done there, you you can have them if you would only turn your life over to him. Hallelujah. Because all of this that's going on now, it's not going to get us anywhere. Hallelujah. It's not going to get us anywhere, but we need Jesus Christ. Listen at what the Bible say in the first Peter in that first chapter. And I'm going to read into you here in verse 22 and 23. And I want you to pay close attention to what these scriptures are saying. And I will explain it after I get through reading it. It says, seeing you have purified your soul in obeying the truth through the spirit unto, unto genuine, you could say a sincere love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart, verbally. 23, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God. Listen what it said, which liveth and abideth forever. Isn't that wonderful? It, it, see, listen at what the scriptures is saying. And I know many may not even understand what I just read, but I'm going to explain it to you. You see, the Bible is for you today and everything in it is for you. Even the thing that was done wrong, it is for our example to do right. And he tells us how to do it right. The Old Testament, a lot of things went wrong back there and it was done wrong. But yet it's when we get into the New Testament, even before the New Testament, it gives us what instruction, example of what we can do right, what we supposed to do right, what you can do to make things better for you and others around you. Praise God. Because the Bible is alive. It is for you and I. The Bible is for us. This is what Jesus, it's like a love letter that Jesus left for us. And if you don't abide by that and you abide by other things, you listen, you will not make it. That's the reason trouble is always 
following you and always knocking you down and you always doing this and doing this. That is not of God. He is not pleased with that. I mean, the way things going on now in this world, I mean, I, ooh, it, it, it's terrible. It is all because people have left the word of God. Listen, listen, you cannot do nothing of yourself. Hallelujah. You need the help of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. To guide and to lead you and direct you. Hallelujah. That's what we need. So when the Bible tells us something, we need to abide. We need to listen, abide by that. We need to walk in that. When it says sin, you have purified your soul in obeying the truth. Now, I can listen. The theme of this message is, listen, to be spiritual minded is life. So if you want to live a life for Christ, you got to be spiritual minded, renew your mind in the things of God. This is the reason why I'm so thankful that I can be on television for at least 28 minutes or whatever that let that try to help you. Because listen, if you are not getting the sign doctrine, which is the word of God, Jesus Christ and him crucified, what he done for you at Calvary, you are, listen, that's why you're doing so much of stuff that you you shouldn't do all of this even all this hate and, and all this other stuff let me tell you something if you don't turn your life over to Jesus listen you are going to die and I'm gonna tell you where you're going you're going to hell that's where you're going because you need to get right he gave you this a choice he gave all of us Jesus gave all of us a will that's to do right or to do wrong now it's up to you to do it but listen listen when you choose to do wrong, you on your own. Hallelujah. But I'm trying to get you to come back to Jesus because then he will guide you. He will lead you. He will show you the way. Praise God. This is the reason why, listen, you need to understand the word of God. Hallelujah. But the word of God is not hard. The word, when I mean, you pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you to understand, this is what I'm trying to get you to see. You need to pray and ask God to give you some help with the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide you and direct you. The Holy Spirit is your teacher. Hallelujah. And once you pray and ask God and begin studying and meditating upon what he, God had said through his son Jesus, let me tell you, it will help you. It will turn you around 180 degree right back to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So Peter, this is the apostle Peter writing. And when he said, listen, when he said seeing you have purified your soul in obeying the truth through the spirit. Hallelujah. And then, and, 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 and what he mean by that? Now, let me, let me explain that. See, this implied concentration to God's service. Concentrate. You have given your entire being, your entire life, your mind, your heart, your spirit to God. Hallelujah. You are concentrated unto him. Hallelujah. And then you can walk in the things of God. And this is what it said. And you see, it, it becomes the inner cleansing of the heart. All that other stuff you got in there, that hate, that malice, that jealousy, all this stuff you got in your heart, it becomes, listen, it gets out when you put the word in because see the word of God will cleanse all of that out of you but when you are not studying the word of God and you are not listening to the word from the Bible listen when you are not listening you never hear about it the only thing in you is hate evil Listen, that's the only thing in you. But when you get the word of God in you, guess what? You have something in you now to what? To guide you into the right thing. Hallelujah. And to speak the right thing. Treat people like you. You know, that's, a, that's an old saying, but you, you, you know, you, you, I guess we, I can, I'm going to go on and say it. But you want to treat people like you would like to be treated. Because see, some of us, don't, we don't care how we're being treated. So I kind of hate to say that sometimes. But you need to treat people right. You can't treat everybody the same, but you can treat everybody right. Hallelujah. And this is and the only way you're going to be able to do that. You've got to purify your heart, get all of this stuff, all that stuff out of your heart. See, one thing I think people don't realize is that they think because they are human and they are alive and they breathe it, that they can do what they want to do. No, you can't do that. You will not go out with most of them do. You wouldn't just go out and just run red light and don't stop at no stop sign. 
guess, look, what, think, what, just think what would happen to you if you do that. You can't do what you want to do. You do that which is right. Like stop when the, when the, when the, uh, uh, the, uh, the stoplight is on red, you stop. When, the, when it's on yellow, slow down and stop. Hallelujah. When it's on green, you go. Hallelujah. It's just with the word of God. What the word of God said, we're supposed to love one another. We're supposed to do that. I mean, you know, some people, they kind of hard to love anyway, but you love them anyhow. If you love them at a distance, love them at a distance, speak nice to them, treat them nice. This is what I believe if the, if the world, even the church needed to, everybody need to understand that what the Bible say is real because it's the word of God. So when we began that inner cleansing of the heart from all of that stuff we got in it, let me tell you something. You're going to be in a world of trouble like it is now. You're going to go down. You're going to be in all, I mean, all types of stuff that is not right. But you got to get your heart clean. Let your mind be renewed. Listen, I want you to understand this. Praise God. I want you to understand that nothing going to solve what's going on now. I want you to hear me good. Nothing, all of this killing and all this stuff and all of this and all of the marches and all that, it ain't going to solve nothing. And Pastor Jerry Gilliard said it. It ain't going to solve nothing. The only thing going to solve what's happening is you turn your life over to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I said so. That's Bible. Turn your life over to Jesus. Hallelujah. You got to stop all of this. Stop all this what you're doing and what you're thinking and get in the word of God. Put these other books down. Get in God's word. Hallelujah. And that will help you because so many of us, we have all of this fleshly. We are we, we working off the flesh. The sin is God in us, telling us what to do because we have nothing else in us to tell us what's right. And when I say we have nothing else in us, I'm talking about being led of the Holy Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Being led of the Holy Spirit. And some of us are listening. All this, we, this hypocrisy, all this stuff we have, pretending this and pretending that. And, be, and most of us are selfish. You need to come out of all of that stuff. That thank you, folks. You, people's got to treat you like this and treat you like this and treat you like this. Listen, ain't nobody got to do nothing but love. Hallelujah. That's all. They just got to love you. Praise God. Because we always try to go back to slavery and go back to this and how we will turn. Listen, all that, that's all that's over with. If you turn your life over to Jesus Christ, you will forget all of that stuff. Hallelujah. And look, put your mind on Jesus and what he done for you at Calvary. Hallelujah. He did away with all of that at Calvary. Yes, he did. And if you don't know it, something wrong with you. And I'll tell you what's wrong with you. I'll listen to me. I'm going to tell you what's wrong with you. You ignorant and you're stupid. That's what's wrong with you. Good God Almighty. I, and, and let me tell you that. See, we got to, listen, we got to forget. Paul said it in the book of Philippians. He said, I press forward, hallelujah, to the high calling of Jesus Christ, forgetting those things that are behind me. You need to forget about all this other stuff, hallelujah. We're not living in, 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 the, in the, what is it, 1846 or whatever it is. We're not living, we're living in 2000, hallelujah. Praise God. God has brought us. Hallelujah. And he's still with us. Don't you think he's not? He's still with you. Some of us is acting a fool. I'm going to tell you what you're doing. you acting a fool. Think that's going to get you somewhere. It's not going to get you nowhere. Praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you, I, oh, my goodness of gracious. And see, listen, people need to understand something. The only thing, listen to me good, the only thing that is going to help you, the only thing going to help you get to where Maybe where, maybe where you desire, where God will have you to go. The only thing is that you got to stop doing evil. Stop doing evil. Stop it. Hallelujah. Because this is the, listen, the Bible, the word of God is the only thing that's going to help you. Hallelujah. going to help us all. Hallelujah. Praise God. And listen what, listen what the apostle said. He said, uh, Sin, you have purified your soul in obeying the truth through the spirit unto sincere love of the brethren. You see, if we don't have sincere love for our brethren, and when I say brethren, I, in the Bible, it's spelled B-R-E-T-H-R-E-N. It's talking about Christian, but it's to everybody. If we don't have true love for one another, listen, we're not going to make it. 
We're just not going to make because we got to have that love. That's the reason why your heart must be purified. You must get rid of all, and maybe some of you don't know what I'm talking about when, when I say purify, but let me tell you what I'm talking about. I mean, cleanse all that evil, all that jealousy, that hate, that malice, all of that stuff out your heart. You say, well, how you do that? Get into the Word of God. Begin to pray and ask God to help you. Stop doing all this evil. Stop doing this. Ask God to get, help you. Ask Him to put you on the right road. And the right road is in his word and your mind is totally on what Jesus Christ done for you at Calvary. Jesus didn't go there and die for you to kill people. No, he did not do that. Hallelujah. But he went there so you can live and love. Hallelujah. And have hope in your heart to help other people. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is what, you know, I, I let, let me stop here and say this. This is what, what I, I prayed so hard. I don't know I maybe about two or th maybe about two months. I said, Lord, help me to, uh, with a message, a word from your body, from the word of God, that I can help wake these peoples up. Hallelujah. Because I don't think they're getting it nowhere else. Hallelujah. But we need, we need to understand something. The only answer that we have for anything that's going on is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me go on. You see, the inward purification must precede love. You see, once your heart is clean, you're going to love. Regardless of what somebody do to you, you're going to love them. Hallelujah. You're going to love people. Hallelujah. And we're supposed to love. If we have been born again, we're in the family of God. We have uh, the word of God. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit to lead us. Good God Almighty. You ought to love. You know what? It's nobody at the whole world. I love everybody. They may not love me, but I love them. Hallelujah. I love everybody. And I mean that. Not just saying it because I'm here. Not just saying it because I'm a pastor. No, I love everybody. I really do. Because why? Because Jesus first loved us. Hallelujah. If he loved us, and boy, we were something. Whew. I tell, but he loved us enough to come and die for you. You see all of that stuff you're doing out there in the world. Jesus died for you. Hallelujah. He died. You need to stop it and turn your life over to Jesus Christ and see what a life. Hallelujah. You can live abundant life. You can live. Just turn your life over to him. Hallelujah. Let me go on to uh, verse 22. It says sin. I mean, 23, being born again. You see, that's the problem. Many people are not born again. They're not born. But I, listen, I want you to know Jesus saved. And if you would just cry out to him and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I have sinned. I have done so much sin. And Father, I come to you. I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm asking you to forgive me of everything I've done. I, I want to know more about you. I'm asking you, Father God, to forgive me today. Hallelujah. Save my soul. Hallelujah. And your word said, I will be saved. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible teaches. And if you're not saved, pray that prayer. Hallelujah. And God, hallelujah, through his son, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit will draw you to him. Hallelujah. Praise God. What a day. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Listen what it said. Being born again, not of corruptible seed. And what that means that you weren't born of, of, of gold or silver, nothing like that. No, you wasn't born with no, with no gold or no silver, but you were born with this incorruptible. Hallelujah. We See, with the blood of Jesus Christ, he paid the price for you. Yes, he did. On Calvary Cross, uh, he shed his blood. Uh, he died for you. And why would you want to act a fool? Uh, why would you want to kill up people? Let me tell you something. Jesus died for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. That you would be an example to others uh, to walk in his footsteps. Uh, tell people about him. Uh, what he done for you at Calvary. He done everything to Defeated the devil for us. Hallelujah. Want salvation to you. That's the reason I said you're not saved. Hallelujah. You can be saved today. Call upon Jesus. Hallelujah. Ask him to forgive you of your sin. It, listen, there's no sin too hard. There's not too much of a sin that he will not reach down right now and grab you and save you. Yes, he'll do it. That's the God I'm talking about. Jesus Christ, he died for you. Oh, yes, he did. Hallelujah. Let me go on here. Praise God. It said, the, it, but 
of incorruptible seed. That's, that's Jesus Christ by the word of God. Let me tell you, that's how you get saved. You listen to me now, listening to the word of God. Listen, that liveth and abideth forever. His word will not fail you. His word, you know, Jesus even told his disciples in the book of John 17, 17, he told God, he says, sanctify them uh, by thy word. Uh, thy word is truth. Uh, yes, see, you can be sanctified, get it into the word of God, calling upon Jesus Christ uh, and be sanctified by his word, cleanse, uh, get all that stuff out of your heart. Uh, it's too much in your heart and it's not right. Uh, that's the reason you're doing this and doing this and doing that. Uh, but when you get the word of God in your good God Almighty, let me tell you, you will have a life. You can look and you can soar, hallelujah, to the highest height when you get Jesus Christ in your life. Study his word, hallelujah, praise God. That's what it's all about. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ and what he done for you at Calvary Cross. Uh, and he paid the price for you. Uh, he paid the price for you to live. Hallelujah. And be obedient to his word. Walk in the spirit. Walk in his light. Hallelujah. Because his words will lead and guide you. Oh, hallelujah. And that's what we, you know, we are all striving. Oh, hallelujah. For our new home, uh, which is in glory. Hallelujah. And you ought to want to go there one day. Hallelujah. And see the one that we talked about. See the one, Jesus Christ, who died for you. Hallelujah. Because the Bible said we're going to be glorified just as he is. You ought to not want to miss that. You live down here in this world where so much trouble is. It's time to get your life straight with him now. Hallelujah. That you can make it in. Because they're going to be a judgment day. Good God about it. They're going to be a judgment day according to Hebrew 9, 27, it tells us that as sure as you live, you're going to die. And after that, the judgment, uh, they're going to be the judgment seat of Christ. Uh, and they're going to be the great white throne judgment. Uh, and can I tell you something? Uh, you don't want to stand at the great white throne judgment uh, because you're hell bound there. Uh, but you ought to want to be uh, at the judgment seat of Christ uh, where you don't have to even be judged uh, because you were judge at Calvary. Good God Almighty. Uh, but you will receive your reward uh, when Jesus say, uh, come on up. Uh, uh, oh, good God Almighty. Uh, you have a home prepared up here for you. Uh, good God. That's where you ought to want to be. So stop all of this stuff you're doing that is wrong. Uh, it's wrong. It's wrong to kill people. It's wrong to talk about people. It's wrong to lie on people. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, and when you got that mindset of what happened 2,000 years ago with people, Hallelujah, you can forget about it because it's all over with when Jesus died on Calvary. Good God Almighty. Whew. Good God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. What a day. Listen, let me tell you, I'll see you next time. May God bless you.